We have some new details now on what you should do if you plan to travel from New York and back again. The option of testing so you don't have to quarantine for two weeks starts Wednesday, but you can get the process started right now. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner explains. Kata Holscher is waiting in the cold to take a COVID test ahead of flying to California for a week. For the people I'm going to see and anybody that I come in contact with, really, I mean, I think it's important to get tested. And under a new policy Governor Cuomo announced this weekend, halfway into her California trip, she'll go for a COVID test there to start the process of returning home and avoiding a 14-day quarantine in New York. Here's how it works. Within the 72 hours leading up to your departure back to New York, you must get a COVID test. Then, upon arriving here, you must quarantine for three days. On the fourth day, you must get a second COVID test. If both tests are negative, you do not have to quarantine. The quarantine and test out process are required for all travelers except trips that originated in neighboring states. That is New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and Vermont. I asked the governor by phone today. Is there a way that the state will keep track of this or is this again really more of an honor system? Uh, no, we keep track of it. First, there are personnel in the airport. Your test uh, is entered into what they call the calm care system, which is then monitored by the local health departments. And he says the second test gets reported to the Department of Health. For Tyra Willer, it means not missing work when she returns from seeing family in Texas for Christmas. I feel like if I was able to just take a test to prove that, it will be a lot more beneficial. But still, reps for the governors of Connecticut and New Jersey tell me that the policies for visitors to those states have not changed. New Yorkers making quick trips less than 24 hours outside the area don't need to test before heading back. However, they are required to take a test four days after arriving back in New York. In Midtown, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. And on today's conference call, the governor hinted that Connecticut and New Jersey may be changing their restrictions as well soon.